Hi friends! How are you today? It's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here with my little Yorkshire Terrier Ellie on a happy Friday afternoon. Welcome, welcome my YouTube people and my Facebook people. I'm so happy that you could join us today. Friday is always a fun day to do a live because everybody's all relaxed on a Friday. Let me just check and make sure that we're working here. Yep, we're on live. Good to see you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so glad you're here today. Um, it's a beautiful, warm day here in, in northern San Diego County. We're having a good afternoon. Ross, good to see you. Terry, good to see you. Yes, happy Friday. I hope you guys have good weekends planned. Um, I have a good weekend plan. Tomorrow I'm going to go to a lovely little morning coffee at a nice uh, hotel resort with, a, with two friends. So I'm really looking forward to that. Tina, good to see you from Granite Falls, North Carolina. Um, it's just great to be here. And I hope the weather is not too bad where you are. We've had our air conditioner on and maybe a lot of you have too. It's not quite summer. Summer isn't until the 21st, but boy, it's already, it's already warm. Yep, and they've been saying we have a real hot one coming this weekend here in Southern California. Right, Ellie? Yeah, we have a real hot one coming. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, I wanted to make sure you stay around for the prize at the end. I'm awarding a prize and telling you about the prize for next week. But if you're interested in getting the prize, uh, just put prize in the comments. You can put it, uh, comment anytime with the word prize, and then um, it'll still count for next week. I'm getting dog hair in my face. Yeah. <laughs> so it's wonderful to see you guys. Annie, good to see you from Tracy. Yes, Tracy, California. I'm about ready to have a sneeze. I think it was from the dog hair that got in my face. Um, I want to show you today some adorable cards that I have been receiving. I've been getting, you all send me adorable cards, and I've got four of them today that I want to show you. So I'm going to put Miss Ellie down so that I can show you these cute cards because I want you to see them, um, you know, close up because they're so pretty. So here's one. And this one says on the tag, this is the little teacup from the Tea Boutique Suite. And it says, I just can't thank you enough. I thought you'd enjoy uh, seeing some cards that others make, getting ideas and so forth. So this is an adorable card. Here's one I just got today. And this is very fancy. This uses the... Um, Eiffel Tower that we had a while back, the Parisian set, beautifully embossed with an oval opening. Uh, lovely, lovely card. Um, does Ellie know how famous she is? I don't think she does. <laughs> Terry, very cute. This is a nice card that I got that was a congratulations for my 10th anniversary with Stampin' Up! And there's a little mark there, but that's because I have it on, um, I have, uh, there's a wire, um, kind of a wall unit that uh, Stampin' Up! sold. I don't think they sell it anymore, but I put all the cards that I get up on my, my wall unit, and I have a clip there, and so that has a little clip mark. But this is a beautiful, this was a rose set that we had over the holidays a few years ago, and I just love it. I love the... Um, rose-colored foil. It's just beautiful. Love that one. And then here's one using the new, I think this um, was called Camellia. This is was from uh, our last celebration, and this is a, another beautiful one. You guys know that I love pink, so people tend to send me pink cards. Aren't those gorgeous? I just love the cards that you send me. They are so beautiful. So thank you all for the cards, and they are up on my board. Okay, I'm just going to switch back for a minute and we're going to talk about some news. I like to talk about news, especially my holiday pre-order that I got and I showed yesterday. If you missed it, pop 
over and see it. It's um, on Facebook here uh, further down, and it's also on YouTube. I showed all the fun things that I got, and I am still having a blast. Um, I can only show you the cover of the catalog, but here is the cover of the beautiful catalog. If you're my customer, it should be coming to you anytime. If you're not and you don't have a demonstrator, leave a note in the comment, email me at peggy at prettypapercards.com and I will get a catalog out to you right away. This is the new celebration catalog and I couldn't help myself, but I had to make just a very cute little card. And so I'm gonna put it up over here so that you can see it. Um, I had to use these cute little gnomes that I got. This is um, over here, the gnomes <clears throat> from the new catalog. And I just had to make a gnome. So I made that little guy, I colored him in and cut him out with a die and I put him on some paper. The DSP is from a Celebration and it had some mushrooms on there. And so I thought that was just so cute for that little gnome. So that's just, it was just a real quickie. That's just a quick, quick sneak peek. But if you like gnomes, you're gonna be so happy with these gnomes in this new catalog. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so um, other, <clears throat> other news. The, we're still, if we're having a new catalog, I always say if we have a new catalog, then we have an outgoing catalog. So the spring mini catalog is retiring June 30th. There are still some great deals, last chance deals. I have a link for you up above on Facebook, below on um, YouTube. I'm gonna just have a little drink. I have some water here. It's so dry. Just a little, <clears throat> just to keep my throat going. So snag those last chance deals. Some are not deals, some are just retiring stamp sets. I showed you some on Wednesday. The rainbow set is retiring. The uh, rain boots set is retiring. Darling sets that I just love. And I think you all love them too. So go over there and uh, click on that link and just so that you don't miss anything. Okay, we are gonna just go ahead and start with the card for today. So, <coughs> excuse me, let's, I'm gonna switch you down again and I'll show you what I've got for today. This is using some products from our new annual catalog uh, that just came out just recently. And this is also using a brand new in color, which is Tahitian Tide that I like so much. I like them all, but I really like Tahitian Tide. Hi, Sandy. You're working on some of the retire sets today. Good idea. So this is a fun fold that I wanted to show you. I think you've seen it before. It's not new, but this little part right here lifts up. Look at that to open. And so it's an interesting card. It doesn't, it doesn't fully open. Just that one little layer opens just like that. And so we are gonna make this card today. Now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna use. This is a new set from, like I said, from the new annual, and I'm gonna give you the page number. It is on page, it's interesting because on Wednesday we made a card using the Full of Love set right here on page 77. And today we're gonna to make a card using Speedy Recovery which is here on page 76. And I have, a, my very best friend is sick in the hospital right now. And so I've been um, making cards for her and I wanted to make another one today. And I love this set. It's just an absolute, hi Tammy, good to see you. It's such a cute set with a little cup, um, like a cup of tea, a little vase with flowers. This is what we're gonna to use today, the uh, bouquet of flowers. It has a box of Kleenex, and it has a spoonful of medicine, you know, um, the spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. <laughs> so this is the stamp set we're gonna use, Speedy Recovery, and if you need a Get Well set, this is the one to get. Thank you, Roz, I do too, we're all praying for her. And we're also gonna use a new die set in the 
catalog, which is called Stylish Shapes. It is not part of a bundle, but we're going to use these circles. And the reason is um, we have layering circle dies, but these circles are stitched circles and squares and labels. So this is what we're going to use today to create this card. So let's get started. We're going to begin um, because this is different, we don't use a folded card to start with. We're using a four and a quarter by five and a half piece, and I'm using thick uh, basic white card stock this time. Thank you, Terry. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm using thick uh, basic white card stock because it's going to support the rest of the card. Okay, five and a half by four and a quarter are standard A2 card size. And then we're going to put on a piece of Tahitian Tide. And on this card, everything goes fully to the top and fully to the bottom. It only comes in on the side. So this is five and a half by four. And let's go ahead and glue this on. And this will begin our card. This is kind of like the card base for this particular card. And the trick is to remember that it goes all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. But I really like the way it looks and I love this Tahitian Tide. I'm not usually a big blue person, but it's such a striking color. It really is. I'm just moving it a little bit. You know how it moves a bit when you use your multi-purpose glue. Okay, so this is our card base. Now we're just going to set that over a little bit and now we're going to make the smaller card, the one that is going to fit in the center. And this is 11 by 3 and a quarter. And I've already scored it. It's going to be scored at 5 and a half. So it goes the full length again, just like we talked about. So it's a very thin little card. And we're going to go ahead and, like I said, I've already scored it. So I'm just going to burnish it right here. And I'm not going to put it on right this second, but I'm just going to show you that that's how it goes. I think, let me just see, I'm a little bit off at the bottom. I'm going to work that a little more. Sometimes your score lines are just a hair, like a sixteenth inch off. So I put them evenly down there and then just change the fold just a tiny bit and that is better. We want it to be exact here because we need it to be exactly five and a half. There we go. So we know that's going to fit. Now we're going to work with this for a minute here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and use some perfectly penciled. I wanted to get a little black and white in there. I love black and white. And so we're going to get a little black and white uh, perfectly penciled and this is cut to the exact same size five and a half by three and a quarter the one trick on this one is to make sure that your lines are going across the lines could we could have them up and down but they wouldn't show as much and we want them to really show on our card so there we go let me see make sure I've got it up here scooch it up just a little bit there we go. And then on top of this, I'm going to put a piece. This is a piece of the T Boutique Designer Series paper. And I've cut this five and a half by three and a quarter. And I just think these look so pretty together. A little black and white and the Tahitian Tide. Hi, Linda. Good to see you. So I'm going to, but before I put this on, I'm going to tie a piece of our um, black and white ribbon. And I'm going to tie it around here in a bow. You don't have to do this. You could also do it in a knot. And I've got quite a long piece here for myself because I like having a long piece. I like being able to tie, tie the tails up just the way I want them to. So let's see I'm going to tie a little bow here and it may take a minute because I like to get my bows just right 
I want them to look really pretty. And so that means you move them around a little bit. Lynn, good to see you from Williamsburg. How are you today? Good to see you, Lynn. That's my husband in there in the kitchen getting ice. I ask him to be quiet, but he forgets. I don't think he realizes that that ice maker makes a noise and we can hear it in here because the kitchen backs right up to my craft room. Silly guy. I'll have to remind him again. Okay, there we go. I think that's a pretty cute little bow. I kind of like that. But again, you could tie a knot. You could put the ribbon just around the front and uh, adhere it in the back. You could definitely do that. But I just wanted to add some more of the black and white because I had made up my mind to do black and white and Tahitian Tide today. So now we can move this over just a little bit, getting our bow in the center, just like that. And now we're ready to put it on our mini card, the card that opens in the center. And let's open that up and make sure we get it right side up because sometimes I've been known to get my cards upside down. Shh. But I know we all do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and adhere this on with glue, our multi-purpose glue. And there's the pretty back of that T Boutique piece. And I'm going to put a little glue up above the ribbon and a little glue below. And again, all the way to the bottom and all the way to the top. I, I just think that looks really good. I really like the black and white so much. So we're just gonna get that to press down it here a little bit. And then we're gonna put this mini card on top of the card base like this. Isn't that just a cute little way to have a card? I really like that. I really like, um, you know, having a little mini card on top of a plain base. So now we're going to glue this on like this. And one thing I like to do when I do this type of thing is hold it up. Do you ever do that? So that it, you know that it's all pressing down to the bottom. And let's do this. I'm just going to press in there and make sure this card is well adhered. And there we are. Look at that. Isn't that just cute? Now you can totally decorate it any way that you like. Any way that you like. But we are going to do our, um, we're going to do our speedy recovery. And so what I'm going to do is, um, actually we're going to make a circle. We're going to die cut a circle from the stylish shapes. And I think actually we're going to die cut I think I have one. We're going to use two, one for the outside and one for the inside. The inside one is this one, and I, I had an extra one, so that's pre-cut. But let's go ahead and die cut the larger one in our adorable little mini machine. And you're just, I'm always surprised at how much, how many of my dies fit in the mini machine. Look at that. That big circle fits in the mini machine. I just love it. Just absolutely love it. So we're just going to do that. I'm going to stamp after. I'm taking a big chance that the that we're going to I'm going to stamp it correctly, right? But I think it'll come out with a circle. It's very easy to stamp us in a circle. And what we're going to stamp is the bouquet. We're going to use the bouquet today, and we're going to use um, Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And I'm going to put my ink on just like this. Get, get that well inked. I think I'm going to huff on it anyway. <sighs> just because it's a little dry here today. And we'll just put that. It almost doesn't matter how you stamp it because it's a circle. You can turn it any way. And now since we have our um, ink out, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the other circle. Let's get it right side up. And this says... Um, wishing, I think it says wishing for a speedy recovery. Let me get some ink off the sides there. I do get, 
I do get to pounding too much. Don't you do that? Sometimes I just pound too much. Anne, hi from Alaska. Good to see you. How is your weather up there in Alaska? Okay, here we go. See how nice that came out? Wishing you a speedy recovery. I like this set. I think it's a great stamp set for um, get well cards. So now we're going to color in our flowers and it's going to take, I'm not kidding you, one second. I'm going to use um, light so saffron because I just want to have, I, I decided yellow is a nice color to, you know, actually maybe I decided to use dark so saffron. Let me grab that. Where is that dark so saffron? I think this is it. That light was a little bit too light. Yeah, we're going to use the dark. That's the one I used before. And just quick with your blends, just very quick. It takes just a couple of little and I saw one over here. So what I decided to do is color. There are little flowers that look a little bit like tulips, and I colored those in that, the darker so saffron, and then I'm using dark um, mango melody for the circles. And actually, they look a bit like daisies. They have very um, big insides. And so I decided to do the insides in the black almost as if they were sunflowers because this is going to go with our black theme. That's something to always keep in mind is keep your color theme in mind. Okay, so I think we've got all those colored in and let's go back now with our Mango Melody. And the reason I want to use a different color is just to give a little contrast, a little bit of a darker color but still staying in the yellow theme because I know yellow goes well with uh, black and it goes pretty well with Tahitian Tide also doesn't it so we're just going to color that in see how quick this is I mean if you think oh I can't color or something look at that already done now we're going to go ahead with and give our leaves a little bling with the uh, dark parakeet party this is such a beautiful bright leaf color. So we're just going to quickly color a few of our leaves here and this just adds a little, it's almost as if we're adding gems and I haven't even added any, I don't, I'm not adding any gems to this card today because I think the parakeet party just really does the trick here. And then we've got a We've got a little heart down here, and I'm going to color that in again with the Mango Melody. Look at that. Super cute. Marsha, good to see you today. Oh, Anne, in the 60s up there, huh? Well, we're down here sweltering in the 80s and 90s. Terry, good. Thanks for putting prize on there. So all we're going to do is, I am putting bling on this. I forgot. I am. But it's not bling bling. It's just muted bling. I'll show you in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and put some dimensionals. This is the first thing that's going to be raised up on dimensionals is our, is our large circle of our Get Well bouquet. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do for bling here. So we're just going to put this right about here. And then for bling on that, it's, it's really not bling. It's going to be the uh, matte dots of the of the in the in color matte dots. So I know I'm using Tahitian Tide, and what I think it does is it just the reason I wanted to use them. Do you see how it's just adding a bit of Tahitian Tide to the bouquet because we didn't use we didn't color anything on the bouquet with Tahitian Tide. So this is just adding that little bit. Where did that little guy go? There we go. And I think that looks pretty nice. Now just to secure our bow, I like to secure the bow so it doesn't flop around when it's mailing, being mailed. And you know when you mail, and many of you know this because you send me the cards that, you, that I receive, you send them to me this way. Put a five and a half by four and a quarter piece of 
cardstock right on top of this card before you insert it into the envelope and that will protect all of your pretties your bow and your and your little embellishments so I'm just gonna put a little mini glue dot down there and that will adhere my bow right where I want it to be just like that and then I'm gonna just kind of poof up the um, the little loops all right now there's our outside let's check check out the inside let's work on our inside Oops. okay so for the inside one thing I've done is I have cut some of that um, T Boutique designer series paper I've cut it at one half by three and a quarter so that we could just bring a little of the color from the front to the inside and I'm just going to put this on the inside here with a little multi-purpose glue and I think I'm actually just going to raise it up a little bit like that so it's about a sixteenth of an inch off the bottom so you, they can tell this is a it's on the inside and then we have our um, sentiment wishing you a speedy recovery and I'm going to go ahead and glue this down because I don't want it I want the card to be flat so we're just going to put that inside I don't usually do the insides of cards so I, but I wanted to because I like this sentiment. It's a great sentiment for someone who doesn't feel well. And now let's do a little something on our envelope. We always have to do something on the envelope. And I thought maybe we would just do um, a little bouquet. Go ahead and put the bouquet, the Get Well bouquet on the outside. Now you know that you can color with blends on the outside of the envelope. Let me just tell you here in one second. Let me go ahead and stamp this. I'm going to stamp the entire uh, bouquet right on the front, just like that. Isn't that cute? Now, if you wanted to color, what you would do is take a piece of um, another piece of cardstock and just slip it down inside because the color will bleed through and you don't want it to bleed through on this on the back of your envelope so you definitely could color your bouquet just slide a little piece of cardstock in there if you want to I'm not going to I'm just gonna leave it like that and what do you think isn't that just a really sweet get well card I really like it I mean it can be an anything card it, it just happens to be that the stamp set is Speedy Recovery. It's one of the new sets in the annual catalog. We didn't have such a cute Get Well set. I really like this. I mean, you could even use the Kleenex box for someone that was um, sad, right? You could use some clean, a little Kleenex box. You like it? Okay, great. I do too. I like the colors together. Um, I just... I'm really pleased and it's fun to work with our new colors and our new stamp sets. I love it so much. Okay, let me come back up and we are going to choose a prize, a winner for today. Our prize for this week is a package of linen thread. I always get confused where to put it. Okay, a package of linen thread and linen thread is fabulous you can never have enough linen thread and so our prize winner today is Jan Larrabee I haven't seen Jan on today but and Jan I do not have your address so please contact me um, and let me know what where to send your linen thread and I will get it out as soon as I get your address email me at Peggy at pretty paper cards.com now next week pro week's prize I've decided um, to start giving away some celebration stamp sets that I had left over from some previous celebrations so for today I have a special moment stamp set if you didn't get this it's a really great one I'm gonna read you a few of the sentiments thanks for brightening up my day it's just 
actually it's just lots of great ones um, just a card to say you're amazing with sympathy hang in there happy birthday best wishes um, good luck thanks so it's got great sentiments you can't go wrong with a fabulous sentiment set like this so special moment sentiment set if you want it uh, put prize in the comments both on Facebook and on YouTube and next Friday prior to coming on live I put all the names down I give them all numbers and I use the random number number generator and that is how Jan won her um, linen thread today so thank you for stopping by today I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend happy Friday evening and um, I'll see you next week with more fun cards.